Hello viewers, today I came with a mechanical process which is called bending. Bending is a manufacturing process that produces a V-shape, U-shape or channel shape along a straight axis in ductile materials. Metallic pipes, tubes, conduits, sheet metals are being used for bending which are being utilized for different applications like construction and manufacturing field. What is tube or pipe bending? Tube bending is any metal forming process used to permanently form pipes or tubing. Tube bending may be form bounded free from bending procedures and it may use heat to support the bending or a cold forming process. Application of pipe bending in general in the automotive industry exhaust system, brake, fuel lines, stabilizers, etc. Aerospace industry, profiles and lines made of light metals and special alloys, pipe working in power and production plant for piping, chemical, pharmaceuticals, food industry, biotechnology, HVAC, bending, heat exchanger and ventilation, coolant tubes, shipbuilding and marine industry, construction and furniture industry, handrails, door grips, tubular steel furniture, pipeline manufacturing process, pipeline installation and construction, we need to use the preform coal bends, industrial and mobile hydraulics, pipe walks and tubing of production plants and machines. What are the different types of pipe bending methods? Pipe bending or tube bending simply refers to the process of modifying pipes in order for them to achieve a certain angle or direction. The different types of pipe bending methods may differ from the machine used as well as the primary mechanism to achieve the bend shape. But it is important to understand that these processes are permanent and are designed to make initial piping material ideal for use in plumbing, HVACR system, fluid transfer and many more. Tube bending is a process used to reshape tubing or piping into a certain shape or design. This process works on metal, alloy, aluminium, titanium and steel. Various methods are used for bending tubes depending on the material in use and the required precision. The most common procedures are rotary draw bending, three roll bending, compression bending and ram bending which is also termed as press bending. There are generally five different methods of tube bending or pipe bending that also can be classified according to the complexity. Each of the process achieves a precision bending in order to make pipes suitable for the application depending on the purpose. Ram bending, rotary draw bending, compression bending, roll bending and mandrel tube bending. Ram bending, as the name suggests, the ram type bending is one of the oldest tube bending method known in the industry today. It is commonly used in automobile manufacturing for exhaust pipe and electrical conduits. This type of bending is also famous for use in square tubing since it usually prevents the wrinkling of the material. Even though the ram bending does not give you much control compared to other methods, it is by far the most cost effective and most straightforward way of bending tubes and pipes. You can see the ram bending setup is consisting of a tube, plug, bending die, tube support and hydraulic piston. There are few machines. There is a sample of hydraulic ram bending machine in the picture you can see. Rotary draw bending. When rotary draw bending is applied, the tube is fashioned between the bend die and the clamp die. The rotation of both tools around the bending axis bends the tube to the radius of the bend die. The pressure die 
slight piece serves the purpose of receiving the radial stress which is generated during the forming process and supports the straight tube end from outside if a mandrel and wiper die are additionally applied which is mandrel bending a high quality work piece can be achieved even with thin wall pipes and tight bending radius the challenges with these tube bending techniques is to ensure that the pipe's diameter stays consistent all throughout the process this is applicable especially the pipe is to be used in functions that required it to withstand a consistent flow of pressure from fluid as mentioned above the push and compression bending machine may not really be capable of achieving complex bend it also runs the risk of forming irreversible deformities on the specimen that may be difficult to correct in such cases the rotary draw bending machine is employed the method provides more precision for the tubing part as the machine is supported by clamps that allow the pipes to be pulled toward a certain shape that also has the same radius of the pipe it is possible for the pipe to have sharp bends while still achieving a high level of accuracy and consistency the rotary draw bending technique is often time applied on the tubing parts that are used for machines and structure frameworks such as roll cages railings bicycle handlebars compression bending as the name suggests the compression bending technique relies on a pushing force in order to produce the desired deformity on the pipe material this is one of the simplest form of pipe bending and is generally used in the manufacturing electrical conduit pipe that requires only simple bending formations compression bending is similar to rotary draw bending the bending method is carried out with a sliding carriage and a stationary bend die between the tube is clamped the sliding carriage which rotates around the radius block bends the tube to the radius of the bend die a compression bending or press bending as it's often called is typically composed of the following material bend die clamp die pressure die wiper die the bend die or tooling component is the main part that applies pressure on the pipe specimen to mold it likewise the clamp die supports the specimen and it's being fabricated in place while the wiper die is responsible for preventing defects to take place on the material as the process is ongoing there are many advantages to the compression bending machine that both manufacturer and end user can benefit from for one the method is fairly simple and does not require many complex tooling parts it is also capable of achieving precision contours and bends with ease as always there are some disadvantages to this technique because of its simplicity it is not able to achieve complex formation the lead time also takes too long making its almost impractical in some cases roll bending or three roll bending the three roll bending is also used for producing work pieces with large bending radii the method is similar to the ram bending method but the working cylinder are the two stationary counter rollers to rotate thus forming the bend the most distinct feature about roll bending machine is that the roller components that are continuously moving through the process this method is not only used for pipes it can also be applicable to sheet metals or extruded sheets that are sectional in shape for the roll bending process the machine that is mainly used is called angle roll it is capable of wide variety of uses often times manufacturer perform modifications on the machines to make it suitable for sheet bending however there are some limits as to the capacity of that machine can hold it may not be able to process thicker wall pipes it may also be limited for stainless steel aluminum and other machinable parts 
Some common applications of roll bending machine include bike, motorcycle, vehicle rims as well as other rounded metal parts. Mandrel tube bending. The last type we will be discussing is mandrel tube bending today. Mandrel bending method produces precise results with very few deformations on tubes or pipes. It can also handle thin materials without breaking due to the internal support it uses during the process. A flexible mandrel is put inside the tube shaft to prevent deformation while forming the material through a bending die. Mandrel bending is generally applied to create exhaust pipes, heat exchange and dairy tubing. In mandrel tube bending, a mandrel or rod is first inserted into the tube as it is being formed. Part of the mandrel is a flexible area that follows the shape of the contour comfortably. This allows the rotary bending machine to continually achieve the directional bend on the material without destroying the pipe. The purpose of the mandrel is to support the tube and is oftentimes used alongside not only the rotary draw bending machine but other machine types as well. While it may be most expensive compared to the typical bending machine, it does have a much shorter lead time and can be used in repetition without losing the quality of the process. Problems in tube bending. You can see a lot of defects or problems arose during the tube bending process. Appearance. It is considered important where aesthetical appearance becomes one of the major concerns where the tube itself is mounted on an area visible to the human eye or simply where the tube itself is a part of ornamental structure. Flattening should be prevented in order to maintain good appearance. Wall thickness. In some applications where the pressure fluid passes into the tube, wall thickness is reckoned to be important. Since thinner the walls, smaller the force that it can withstand without being damaged. So this is a defect which has to be avoided during bending. Geometry. Different tube geometries may require different parameters when forming. For instance, substantial care must be taken when forming square tube profiles. Since it is much more difficult to sustain the sharp edges of the profile in the bending, processes. Factors that causing difficulties in bending. Low wall thickness compared to the tube diameter. When the ratio of the wall thickness to the tube diameter is small to a considerable amount, fracture and wrinkling may occur on the tube walls. There is a limit to the ratio in question for every tube material. Low bending radius. Change in bend Die diameter changes the bending radius. Bending with low bending radius may be critical since there will be too much tension on the outer side and too much compression on the inner side of the tube which can cause tearing or collapse from the outer side and wrinkling to the inner side. Figure shows a tube after bending process with a small diameter bend die. If the diameter of the bend die was bigger, tube would be bent without flattening. Weld. Care must be taken when bending tubes performing with weld. The bending should not be made through the welded area since the welded face may not withstand the tensile forces and may result in failure through its weld seam. Wrinkling. When working with low bending radius and low wall thickness compared to the tube diameter conditions, wrinkling can occur. To prevent this, proper wiper element should be used. Scratches on inside the bend area. Mandrel used can make scratches on the inside of the bended area of the tube. Therefore, to overcome that problem, appropriate mandrel radius and material must be used. Spring back. When the bending process will be over, the remained stresses in the body of the bended tube will cause to a relaxation in the part that will decrease the degree of bending. To solve the problem, the initial degree of bending might be increased to a certain degree driven by the simulation result. 
Another solution relies on increasing the elastic modulus E of the tube material. Increasing the E means making the part more rigid which will result less loosening of the part after the forces are removed. Tearing. Tearing may occur in the parts with small bending radius. Bended parts cannot withstand the tensile forces generated on the outer side of the tube and can tear out. For this, proper materials iron should be made. So guys, these are the bending process I have discussed for you. Our main objective is to discuss about the hot and cold bending. If you like this, please wait for my coming videos in this series and share and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Signing off. Showman.